Welcome to Biology B, Lesson 410. We're going to talk about flatworm reproduction today. But before we do, I would like you to work on this warm-up. Which example represents a disadvantage of asexual reproduction? So we haven't talked about sexual and asexual reproduction since biology A, so this is a great review. Your choices are A, genetic variety solely causes hundreds of species of beetles to form from a single species. B, a single antibiotic is able to quickly and easily kill million of genetically identical bacteria. C. Millions of bacteria are quickly supposed produced by cell division in one afternoon in a milk jug which has been left on the counter. D. Male anglerfish must live on larger females as parasitic mates since they encounter other anglerfish so infrequently in the deep ocean and e i'm still working on it which do you pick did you pick b a single antibiotic is able to quickly and easily kill millions of genetically identical bacteria great participation So our I can statements for today are to distinguish uh, reproductive patterns in living things. We're going to look at the life cycle of a flatworm and understand the basics of flatworm asexual and sexual reproduction. So what is the process which an organism produces a new genet genetically identical organism without the use of gametes? Is it sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction? Go ahead and tell me. And what are the clues that you would use for that? to determine your evidence or proof of your choice. I would say that a clue would be genetically identical organism without gametes, and that would be asexual reproduction. So we have sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the fusion of the male gamete with the female gamete, creating a zygote. So with, there's contributions from two different parents. In asexual, there's only one parent required. The offspring is an exact copy of the parents. We're going to look at study guide question 10. What type of reproduction do you think a flatworm would have and why? Ooh, don't forget the clues of the I can statements. So flatworms reproduce both sexually and asexually. And many of the animals can either be sexual or asexual reproduction. What type of offspring are produced during asexual reproduction? Is it a green check, identical copies of a parent, or genetically different from your parent? I hope you chose green check. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. They're listed up here on the board for asexual reproduction. Um, so if you're following asexual reproduction, the reproduction is going to be faster than sexual reproduction. 
and there'll be more offspring. The con is that um, in asexual reproduction, it's an exact duplicate, so it's going to lack genetic variations. That could become a problem if a disease or an illness hits the community. We have a uh, flatworm here on the board with some of its parts labeled for us in cartoon style. A flatworms are considered hermaphrodites. That means they have both sexual organs in them, both male and female. So flatworms are not girls or boys. They're both. They must mate with each other and exchange the sperm. And once a hermaphrodite parents have exchanged sperms, the parents will then release those fertilized eggs into the environment and the eggs will hatch in about two to three weeks. Asexually, a flatworm can also go through what's called fragmentation where they just split. Here's some pictures up here on the board for you. So what I've done is I'm going to put for you a link that you can watch of uh, flatworm re regenerating. The video is about two minutes and you can watch that. So just as a review, uh, flatworms are not boys or girls, they're hermaphrodites. They can reproduce sexually or asexually, either through um, an exchange of genetic material through gametes, which will produce offspring in two to three weeks, or through fragmentation where they split at the midsection and each becomes its own individual. So now we have completed the plants and the flatworms on the reproduction. I hope that this information helps you as you prepare, that you are ready to take the next step or just need to review. The textbook has some information to help you, and you can always email me if you need assistance. Please remember to work on Lesson 10 and complete the test. Complete your uh, review sheet, and we have coming up on April 27th the test. Have a great day. The code word for today is up on the board, flatworm. If you have any questions, be sure to email me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. We will see you next time.